still a nation. You see, I'm, I'm still on the walk, man. I'm almost to my destination. So I'm trying to get these videos out and ready, done and recorded. Because by the time I'm done running and all that, I'm going to be tired as hell. And I ain't going to want to talk. So I think a few days ago, uh, footballing with Ben Roethlisberger, the podcast, you know, hosted by Ben and uh, um, I forgot the other guy's name, man. Salute to him, too. But they had a couple guys on there. One in particular was Pat Frymuth. Now, Pat Frymuth, <laughs> it was a lot of comparisons to Pat Frymuth and Heath Miller. And, you know, I think it's kind of a lazy comparison just because when Heath Miller set it like a standard for this generation's tight end of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So anyone's going to get compared to him, right? But it's clearly, <laughs> this offseason tells you clearly they're not the same type of guy. Because Heath Miller... I think we haven't heard, we only heard uh, Heath Miller talk after retirement. And that was years after retirement, <laughs> right? Um, Pat Frymuth, he gives it up how he gives it up. You know, he made a couple of headlines this year. Um, not necessarily talking crazy, but saying things that can get taken out of context and blown out of proportion. Um, if you didn't see the other video, go back, go back, go back. When he says he's good on Bill Belichick, you know, but go back and check that video out. But on this one, you know, uh, Ben asked the question, you know, the difference between him and Kenny. And if y'all didn't see the video, here go the video right here. How much different was it playing with um, Kenny than me? <laughs> <laughs> this no, feels like a no, trap. No, 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 I'm no, just joking. No, no, I, I tell Kenny this all the time. It was so it's so different because we don't have we didn't have Haas. Yeah. So like with you, like we have a concept, and like you know how like how many times do we have a concept, and you look at Tay, and you just give him a signal, and yeah. he, it would be a 12 hour completion. You know what I'm saying? So we didn't have that this year. So like instead of looking at you the whole time, like we were looking at the coverage, and it's kind of like okay, like I know what I'm supposed to do. It was kind of almost like too slow at first because. You weren't anticipating, like, because with you, like, we could see cover zero and you're giving us a ram or something like that. So that was probably the most different of um, the difference between the two. Learning. And he'll, yeah. and he'll learn it because I, I oh, saw a lot sure. of growth from him. Oh, I mean, you, sure. uh, Bob, I know you cover a lot of football. Like, I thought he, I thought he really oh. improved a lot throughout the season. I mean, and it showed through for the whole offense. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought you all got better as yeah. you went. And I know people will say, we didn't score this many, but, but y'all yeah. went seven and two down the stretch yeah. and, and had a real chance to get into the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So now this clip here. It caused a lot of controversy at people piling on Matt Canada because Matt Canada is coming back for the 2023 season. It's already set. Um, a lot of Steelers fans don't like it. I didn't like it initially until I gave it some more thought and just realized how young our offense is and how better, how better our offense got the second half of the season all the way to the last game. Not even until the last game. Through, like, you know, we finished the season pretty strong. Offensively, they started to click. They started to execute better. Um, so Pat Fry moved comment about him like this year, they didn't have any hot routes. And a lot of people was just saying, damn, Matt Cannon ain't have no hot routes, ain't have no hot routes, blah, 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 blah. But a lot of people that's making like those type of comments and being outraged by that, y'all not understanding. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people were saying it was probably too young to remember Ben's rookie year, but it was a whole different time, so I don't even want to do too much comparison. But just a comparison from this year and last year, Ben Roethlisberger was a vet legend already. So hot routes for him, he don't need a coach to come up with hot routes. All he got to do is just look at you or in the huddle tell you something. You know, this is the play, but if this happens, X, Y, and Z, right? Shout out to the dog over there. But um, this year with Kenny... Kenny's a rookie. Kenny is, and not only is Kenny a rookie, regardless of age, Kenny got thrown in towards the middle of the year, like, um, I think like after four games or something like that. I would like to say after four games, he was thrown in. So him picking up NFL defenses to the point where he can understand or come up with hot routes as he see the game going on, it's not ideal, man. It's not, it's not something that you should expect. And I think people that expected that from this offense this year, you crazy. You crazy. Like next year, I'll say you'll see something a little different, right? Where Kenny will get to the line because he has a whole offseason, the NFL offseason, and he has the experience in the year, uh, his rookie year, to make the adjustments and understand the defenses of the NFL. So next year, this next season coming up, 
you would see more of the hot routes and stuff like that. So I didn't take it as a big dig to Matt Canada. I just said, okay, I expected that because Ben is a legend. He's seen every defense in the NFL. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And to the point where he can really out there and improvise, draw plays in the dirt, you know? So you guys that's outraged on that, I don't understand it. Y'all need to relax, 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 relax. Now this time next year, <laughs> if somebody go in there and say, we didn't have any hot routes, we didn't have anything, then it's like, all right, y'all. All right, it's getting a little crazy. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know how y'all feel about that, regardless of what I said. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. It's your man, Kev Easy. I am out. I'm almost to my destination, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification button to stay up to date for Stills for 7 podcast content.